Good morning, guys. Today is the day, Tuesday, September 6th, 2016. Getting the new Nakamura. Just gotta clean all this crap out of here now because the latest is coming in like half an hour or so. Ooh. And I've got a phone call to make us too. So I'm gonna put the earbuds in and just get to work. Phone call finished, success. And uh, Eric should be here by now, but he uh, should be on his way real soon. I've got probably, as I can see from my no watch here, I ordered a, a new Pebble watch, kind of excited about that. Um, should be here in like 20 minutes. I don't know, we'll see. I think I just found the magic angle to jack this thing from. Like right there, it's not even trying. Get it in, it's perfectly balanced, or at least somewhat, and it's, it rolls freely. The way we did it in the video yesterday it was kind of tippy, so I had to like hold it upright. This seems to work pretty good. Just need to move it out of the way so I can open this door. Sweep super fast. It has arrived. All right. All right, they got a steel plate placed on the ground. Let's check this thing out. Still a video, don't mind me. No, that's fine. You got any eggs on you? Eggs? You don't throw eggs at your machine. No, I never heard of it. Oh, okay, it happened. Oh, cool. It's usually the bully should do that. <laughs> throwing eggs at a machine, never heard of that. Uh, usually you don't even get the machine in the door and you're throwing eggs at it. <laughs> I, I could have ate that. She is, there's my baby. Oh, they sprayed a bunch more of that grease on it, so I have to clean that off. <laughs> All right, let's make sure this shop is ready to go. Uh, Got it under control? I'm busy. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's on it. Full trust. <laughs> um, yeah. Very excited. Yeah, the lathe is going to have to come in sideways on wheels, which will be really interesting to see. And uh, then get kind of shimmied. Hopefully they turn very well. But these are the riggers. That's what they do every day, all day. So trust them. It's not nerve-wracking at all. Yeah. The Mori was a lot bigger, wasn't it? Yeah, the forklift was way bigger too. For the right. Mori well, doesn't weigh that much more than this, but yeah. a little bit. <laughs> this is like eleven or twelve thousand. Yeah. All right. So it's quite hot today. They were actually worried about the machine sinking into the asphalt because um, it gets soft. So they they got to move pretty quickly. Just looking out the front door. It'll fit easy. I heard one guy got the same machine and they had to basically take the door handle off, take the basket off right there, and it just fit through the door. So, looking good. It looks like they already have it on the wheels. Those are cool. Sweet. I see it comes with. All right, goes right in here. Here's a high pressure coolant pump, transformer, which might actually have to go over here, but it's, it's pretty light and easy to move. Very exciting, very busy, very cool. I would not want to do this myself, you know, without the riggers, um, that's, that's just stupid. But <laughs> I've heard of some shops doing it. 
This whole bracket has to come off. Try it. I need you, need your help here. I guess they have it on wheels and they're literally just using the forklift to push it around, which is kind of sweet. Oh yeah, bloody straight. Oh, just the front is on wheels. The back is being lifted by the forklift. That's cool. Makes sense, gives them maneuverability. So cool seeing this actually happening right now. <clears throat> Super excited. out there working on getting the uh, chip conveyor lift up because the chip conveyor is gonna have to go in that hole we just made took a panel off it's gonna slide all the way down in there um, that has to be in place because unfortunately the shop is too tight corner of the machine is gonna be right here chip conveyor is gonna stick out here there will not be enough room to actually like remove the chip conveyor and you know do maintenance to it um, so that kind of sucks but needs must Really didn't want to move the Mori, and I, I like the lathe being here anyway, so uh, the service guy said the chip conveyor is going to be fine in place, so it's, it's not really an issue. It's just getting it in first, and then putting the machine in its final location. Yeah, I think I heard them complaining about the uh, paint peeling up in the floor when they were rolling it across, which is totally fine. I don't really care. And if you remember back to our, our new shop video like a year ago when we painted the floors, there was this spot right here that was like super oily and Eric Pressure washed it and washed it forever and it, it never actually got clean enough. So we knew the paint was going to be peeling in this corner. Whatever, I don't care. They did spray all this shipping crap grease all over it, which I had cleaned off at Elliot's. That's okay, I'll clean it off again. Or maybe their service guys will be nice enough to do it for me since they put it on. <laughs> That's what the Mori did, they, they cleaned it off themselves. Thread it in like a needle. we want. I did measure out the tape corners so this this corner is going to have to come forward because you need enough room behind the machine like I talked about in my last video. This is the service panel door. It's three feet wide. It needs to be open. It needs to be able to open almost all the way um, to be able to access in there. So so we do have to come out more. That's kind of cool. It's really amazing how strong wood actually is. I mean it's like a 12,000 pound machine divided by four. So what's that, 3,000 pounds on this piece of wood, on small little metal, it's kind of cool. So one thing we didn't realize now, my, my preconceived notions of where the machine is supposed to go, need to be tweaked a little bit. Because this is the coolant tank, chip tray, exit for the pump and everything, and this has to slide in right in that opening right over there. 
this opening and it's too close to the mori. So the whole machine, I think, is gonna have to scoot just like two inches that way. But we're gonna test it and find out. Not even close? Unless we just made it crooked. I mean, yeah, if we just pushed in this one corner and then we could get the tray in, the door would still have all the... Yeah, it looks weird anyway, so. If we just push the one side in. It's up to you guys. It's your machine. Yeah, yeah. No, if, it, if we just need to get that in, I'd say push this corner back a little bit. All right, so we got it in. Um, we're trying to figure out if we actually want the lathe to be a little crooked. Because this thing needs to be able to come in and out for service and stuff. I don't know. I mean, this is better for. It's, it is almost better in a lot of ways. Yeah. Well, honestly? Yeah. Now that's sweet, it is better. You know? I know it's better. And we have the right axis. And now you've got more room here. Yeah. And you're not jammed halfway behind this machine. You're actually right. over here now. The only thing you're losing is like six inches in that corner, which is irrelevant. Well, we're going to have to jack it. And we gained an inch over there, so we're totally good. That's always a good day. <laughs> Why do you guys want to put a little pressure on that earth? Mm -hmm. Good day. Good day indeed. Put the Tormac lathe back inside. It's just going to float until we figure out what to do with it. Um, we actually ended up going with a crooked arrangement, which kind of flies in the face of all of our perfectionism. However, it works in so many different ways. It gives us more operator access. It gives us more room here between the air compressor and the chip conveyor. The only downside is you lose a bit of corner space here, but this does not matter. Um, there's still enough room for somebody, even big guys, to walk behind it. The service door does open up all the way. Although I can't quite figure out how to open it. I got the keys unlocked, but I can't figure out how to open this thing. So, I don't know, I'll figure that out soon. But yeah, the door should open up all the way. Um, plenty of room over here. This is kind of great. And yeah, looking good, looking good. So good. It's been a great day so far. There's a good angle right there, just in the door. Tormac lathe, Tormac mill, Moriseki mill, Nakamura mill. Lathe. Sorry. It's like a candy store up in her. It's awesome. It's so fantastic. Let's go up top and take a peek. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff, Eric. Let's make some knives. Yeah. All right, so we could not have timed that better. Just as the uh, riggers are packing up to take off. Bye guys. Uh, they did a great job. Um, the electricians walk right up because uh, we called it ahead of time and they said maybe today, maybe tomorrow, and here they are, like, like within minutes. Perfect time. It was awesome. Um, yeah. So they said they said we might be able to get this thing powered up tonight, which means call the service guys tomorrow and be like, get here and plug this thing in and turn it on. Um, Let's do it. So the transformer is currently here, but we're going to move it to the other side, I think. And uh, like we're not going to utilize this corner. So the transformer can go here, high pressure coolant's there, chip conveyor, bucket here. But if we can keep the other corner, um, it's, it's pretty open. If we can keep that available, then that'll be very good. One of the uh, one of the riggers asked us, walked up to us, any of you guys got a knife? And Eric's like <laughs> silly question. Yeah, I think I'm much more excited about it once it's here. You makes know, it like, real? Yeah, it makes it really real and it's in our shop and I know we're gonna be able to use it like very soon now. Yeah. It's not just a pipe dream kind of thing. And we'll make more knives. Ooh, that's like peeling the screen off of electronics. Like, uh. <laughs> see, I've been playing with this all week, like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Eric was off gallivanting in Seattle. Um, oh no, that's fine. That happened off the truck. 
What are you gonna do? Yeah. One battle. We'll put a sticker on it right there. We'll be fine. Good point. YouTube sticker done. <laughs> It is now 5 p.m., end of day, time to go home. Super successful day, super fantastic. Electricians came in, busted it out, had it wired up completely by about four o'clock, and uh, just sit, been sitting in a quiet uh, shop getting some order organization done um, so that we know what we're making. It's fantastic. Look at this place. I mean, it's a mess right now, but boy, is it getting packed. Yep, things are looking really good. Super happy. Super duper happy. Um, I've got service tech scheduled to come in tomorrow morning. I don't know how long it's going to take them to level the machine, clean it up, you know, do all that stuff. Um, tomorrow's Wednesday, so geez, I should be able to play with this thing on Thursday, if not Friday. That's fantastic. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for being a part of this journey and watching us. I mean, you think back to way back in the day, we have videos from like six years ago, before we had any machinery, before we had any equipment. Um, it's pretty crazy to think back that there to now. I don't often get to like just sit back and like, like really let that take me over, but I should do that more because it's, it's something else, you guys. It's really cool. All right, I gotta go. Later.